So Shanann and the girls and us had a wonderful time the rest of their trip. When Chris came here for his week, Shanann was here for six. Shanann picked him up at the airport with the girls. They were so excited to see their dad that they set off the alarm for running up to him. Chris spent the day with his parents and Shanann dropped him off at the nursing home to see his grandma. Shanann and the girls came back here. Chris was acting really weird to Shanann. He didn't have time to speak to her and then he was going to stay because we had a storm with no street lights not working. Chris's dad brought him back here to our home. Shanann and Chris spoke on our back porch for a few hours about how he has been and the peanut stuff at his mum's house. Chris was distant to Shanann. He was okay with the girls and with us. Shanann was vomiting all night and Chris didn't get up to see how she was. That was his wife. They left for Myrtle Beach and Frank went with them for a couple of days. Being that it was our granddaughter's first time at the beach, Frank then left them. I came a day and a half. The girls and I had a blast. Chris was very quiet, doing his own thing and ignoring Shanann. I said to my daughter, is everything okay? And she said, Chris is Chris. So we were at the beach and we went to dinner. Chris drove Shanann and the girls. There were no rooms, so I drove behind them. I was doing 83 miles an hour to catch up with them and texting Shanann, why is he driving like that? Tell him to slow down. I'm not in a race to go to dinner. At dinner, Chris left the table quite a few times, very silent. He was ignoring his wife and kids. Cece was being funny and he walked away again. I left the next day and they came two days later. I asked Shanann to stay here with the girls and she said Chris has good insurance for the girls so they went back home to Colorado. I'm devastated. P.S. The only reason Chris got fit was because diabetes runs high in his family and Shanann wanted him to live forever.